Hello, I'm Ross Worth. This lecture is an overview of the value chain for a downstream oil company. While it is specific to this subsector of the energy industry, many comments will be made on the similarities that can be found in other industries. The focus will be on how value is generated and flows down the value chain and where there are opportunities for improvement. What you see here is only slightly modified from what I used to lead internal discussions a few years ago in an international oil company. By illustrating the value chain, it is easier to see where value is generated and where decision points exist. This slide and those that follow help get everyone on the same page and help focus our attention on where there were areas that we had reasonable control and opportunities. This showed the flow of value down the supply chain from the refinery in the upper left-hand corner to the different marketplaces in the lower right-hand corner, whether it be bulk sales, wholesale, or retail, both branded and unbranded. Along the way, you've got competitor responses, you've got multiple grades that are shipped on pipeline or barge. You also have to recognize that in the oil industry, you often trade or exchange product from one point to another point. In so doing, you're really balancing the supply demand across the entire supply chain, looking at multiple sources, as well as multiple market opportunities that can be really controlled or enhanced through different programs. We looked at price transparencies, where there's pricing that is known, where it's unknown, and how value is being recognized in the pricing along the supply chain. Collectively, it's a pretty sophisticated, uh, complicated chain for most companies because of the decision and opportunities along the supply chain itself. These are some of the decision points that we did analysis on. Uh, the pricing, uh, particularly the return on investment of servicing. A lot of times you think about the product alone and you ignore the service components that are added along the supply chain. Looking at the value chain adds explicit recognition on those service components. In your supply economics, you've got multiple sources that may be commingled. You also have to look at your book versus replacement valuations. Obviously, you're making decisions on a replacement value uh, process, but Management often likes to know the impact on the book accounting in those decisions also. Your inventory management, a lot of issues there. From market response to pricing trends, uh, predicting imbalances, both product, geographic, and exchange imbalances. Looks at your data flow and the data availability. A lot of times there's slow data or gaps in the data that you have to do some estimates. How good are you at filling in those gaps? In terminal inventory management, are you managing demand? Are you able to predict your runouts so that you are supplying in a timely manner but not carrying excess inventory? And if there are issues, do you have the data to do a root cause analysis of those incidents? Leveraging knowledge then across the value chain. Very difficult, yes. Very profitable, yes, if done right and it takes a lot of time and analysis to do it right. But to do it right, you have to understand not only the supply chain, but where value is added across that supply chain. The value chain, an opportunity to identify where value is added along the supply chain and where incremental improvement might be possible.